Welcome to July's LeetCo Challenge. Today's problem is top k frequent elements. Given a non-empty array of integers, return the k most frequent elements. We're given an array of integers, and we want to return here the two most frequent elements. So we return 1 and 2, since 1 appears 3 times and 2 appears twice. We can assume that k is always valid, so that's nice. And we want our time complexity to be better than n log n. The very first thing we want to do is count up the number of times these numbers appear, right? So we can use Python's counter object to do that. Just going to call it C and invoke Python 3's counter object and input num. So now we have a dictionary with all of the integers as the key and the value being the number of times it appears. Now we want to sort that, right? And we want to sort this counter object, but we want to make sure the key is the number of times it appears, not the, the, um, not the number itself. So key, I'm just going to use a lambda function and say, hey, take the value inside this dictionary. And we also want to reverse it because we want this to be in descending order. So the most frequent elements are going to be on top. Now all we to do is, this is going to be a list, return up to the kth point. So that should solve it, um, simple enough. You could also use a heap if you'd like. Uh, that would be a little bit faster. So you'd still have to create this uh, counter dictionary. But we could now instead uh, use a heap. So the way you do that is first you need to convert this into a, into a list. So what I do here is take the value and key. So for uh, key dot value in C dot items. We'll take all the key values inside this dictionary and we'll create a tuple with the value being first. In fact, we'll have to make that a negative because we want this to be a, a max heap. And now I'll create a output, make that an empty dictionary. First, actually, we need to heapify this. So we can use the heap queue heapify method to heapify our list. So now it's going to be a min heap. Well, but since we use the negative, that's actually a max heap, right? So for i in range of k, what do we want to do? Well, let's pop off the item from this heap. And we'll just append the key into our output. And we'll do that k times. Finally, we just want to return the output. So let me test that out. Uh, looks like it works. Submit it. And that works too. So there are other methods to do this, but these are the most straightforward ones. Pretty easy question today. Thanks for watching, and remember, do not trust me because I know nothing.